All right, we're live. We are live officially. Sweet. It has happened. I think. Let me know when you can see it. I just want to make sure. I'm going to the YouTube now. To the YouTube? To the to the YouTube. It should be public. Oh, there it is. Yes. Do you want to post on Discord? And maybe even in the sub chats there if you really want to be extra. Do you really want to be extra? Uh, do you want me to? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely I do. Finn told me to be extra. Be extra. And in the meantime, let me just contribute to all of your winnings. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, dude. I'm, what I'm is top 10 really even good. like right now? Whoa. Top it just put me in at level 4. Look at that. Look at that, Dave. I don't like I don't like that we have to do that. If we want to look at the leaderboard, it shows our reward. I was there. thinking that same thing. So I saw that it doesn't it not only it shows how much you have in your wallet. Exactly. Right. Like Good it would, thing I'm using my burner wallet right now. <laughs> I just put twenty six grand. Did you see that? <laughs> that buy in? <laughs> No, I thought that was you, but then I realized it was me. You know? No, that's that's all you. That is hey, all you. Okay. All right. Let me just quickly respond to this, and then we are good to go. Oh yeah. Look at you just being so popular over there. It does seem Being's like popular. interesting and like. Ugh. So, before we dive into this do you want to just do some gameplay and see your name scale the leaderboard 100 100 percent. okay yeah let's let's get some gameplay in because i actually haven't played with the new leaderboard this is the first time i've played so how how much is like place 100 like so i can see if i can even get on the leaderboard i don't want to keep going back there you know oh, okay like, shoot man well i think we're people join you know that's true. I feel you there. All right. So how many like how many tokens do you want me to to basically at this point I'm I'm paying paying you you know. Right, hundred percent. So so how many tokens do you want me to to sponsor you for? Welcome, Doge Cash is here. Welcome, 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 Doge Dash Cash. Up, Doge Dash so Cash. today we got a lot that we're we're gonna cover. We're gonna try to move quickly and swiftly, and get through everything there is to get through. Um, obviously, we're we're gonna talk about the leaderboard. It's been around for almost twenty four hours, almost. Well, actually, technically, it has been around for twenty four hours, but not the first twenty four hour cycle. So we're gonna do right. the math, all the math. Based on our spreadsheet, we have updated it, and we're going to be showing an updated version, which uh, we're going to basically go through and, and show that. Then we're going to move to overall thoughts on the leaderboard, um, some cool things, some things that, that may be uh, you know, pros, cons, basically that sort of thing, um, moving to some feedback there as well as then we're going to go to announcements and the announcements portion is going to be interesting because bomb actually has some really exciting stuff to share with the team it's and true fact <laughs> it's all factual um and so we've got like like i said we got a lot lot to cover so bomb are you almost done sending your text uh yes i mean dad gum it bomb just send the text it's not. It's still an email, but yeah. It's oh, you're emailing. Yes. Is that for work? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Because if that was a personal email, I just I don't know if I would accept it at this point. Oh, all right. So, while I finish beating Elite here and contributing to no one's wallet but other people's, I will let. Bomb kind of introduce himself. Bomb, do you want to tell people? Hi, this is me. This is me, Bomb. Yeah, and more specifically, what your overall ranking is on the leaderboard right now. 
I'm pretty sure I'm like in the top 90, like 88 or 89, feeling super good, super confident, and really just ready to crush it, you know? And I just, I just feeling really good about it. Yes, that's me. Okay. Wow. That was a lot. (laughs) Sure. That works. All right. So here we go. Let's, did you post in, in Discord? I did. Okay. Um, well, let me just beat this level 10 so I can at least give you guys some money for your leaderboard efforts. And I mean, basically me winning right now is going to help, help your payout. 100% it will. So, all right. I got, I'm popping things up here. Here we go. Getting my whole setup down. All right. So there you go. Here's, here's some tokens for you there, bomb. Which, if you're in like 90th place, we're also going to be able to show exactly how many of these these one tokens. Well, actually, it's just the dashes because yeah, the one token is just go. Winning doesn't matter. So actually, that, losing quicker is better for me. Yeah, so I should just lose really quickly yeah. in rapid succession. Okay. Well, we've got five people. And as more people come on, we'll continue to... Go. So there you go. There's there's more points. So now, can I hope to see myself on the leaderboard if I check the leaderboard? Which, by the way, Bomb has already given some good feedback. We haven't even gotten into the leaderboard, but he's already saying some cool feedback. So when it comes to the leaderboard, I can't go to the leaderboard without it showing how much I currently hold in my wallet. Mm. Which is kind of cool, but I think it would be a good feature if you could hide that. You know? Yeah. Just to where it would be just asterisks there. Yeah, I think that would be neat so you could hide it because if you're streaming I mean, or doing something else, you don't want people to see how much you have in your balance. Again, we're going to get to feedback, though, but yeah. that's just something kind of right off yeah. the bat. I mean, to be honest, the, the majority of people want it that way, you know, I, I would think so. That's kind of hard. That's we're such a small percentage of players that I'm sure would be like, hey, can you hide the amount of coins? Well, I think as they get more gamers, they're going to have more streamers, not just in this game, but other games. And it might be a True. good, it might be a valuable thing a because yeah. I know you don't want to show your balance and I'm not, right. I'm not crazy sure. about it, but I'd share, share my balance if people wanted to, to see that. But Hey, Mike, welcome. What's oh, up, Mike? Mike? Or like a separate tab for the leaderboard. So you could check it while you're like on your phone, you know? Yeah. Like, or just I, something I where like you don't have to reveal really your cool. balance. I think, I think yeah, that'd be but good. I mean, like when you're not at your computer, it's like, Oh, I am falling down. I could be removed from the leaderboard. I better get home and play the game. Okay. So, so first of all, let's just, we've got a, a, a chock full schedule today. So we're probably going to have to jump into this pretty quickly. Okay. Um, so first, first uh, order of business is we've had the leaderboard for 24 hours now. Bomb, I'm just going to switch it over to you. What are your thoughts? I mean, I, I know you've heard from other people. You've heard from other players, quite a few of them. And like weighing that into your overall opinion as well as giving your own, what are your thoughts of the leaderboard so far? That's a great question. Out of, a, um, out of 10, if you were to – let's – do uh, your numerical no, rating I, uh, and then explain no. it. No, 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 that's <laughs> not that's not fair. Hey, what's up, Jesus? Hey, Jesus. Welcome, Daniel, Mike. Good to see you guys. Okay. So, Bomb's gonna tell what... us how he'd rate this the system honestly. <laughs> honestly? Sure. Well, when I it's not fair to say a number because I have. Then you get to explain like, it. Okay, let's say like it's a four. A four out of a five, but 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 here's four out of five. No, like four out of ten. And here I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Okay. The reason it has a four, and here's I'm gonna go with the positives first. The reason it has a four, it looks really clean. Like it. That does. was one it of looks, my. That's one of my pros too. Yeah. Yeah. It looks fantastic. Your name pops up there. It's cool. It's like unique you get to see everybody and you get to see the rewards like they did a great job on that and i don't think there's any bugs with it so far um yeah it takes a few minutes to load sometimes but they did a fantastic job on that and that's why i'm i'm happy with that um that's about where it stops though i mean like (laughs) 
I mean, it looks good. But I mean, hey, hold on. Well, I'll throw in a pro there too. Yeah, throw in a pro. Throw in a pro. So I like the fact that the that the rewards update in live time, mm, or se- it's semi live. It's pretty close though. The fact that it's dynamic with the numbers, dynamic re- with the rewards. I thought that that was pretty cool. Like I was right. expecting, like, oh, maybe they'd do it hourly or whatever. The fact that you can like refresh it and it updates. I have no idea about like the dev power and what that would require, but I'm guessing that's pretty impressive that they rolled that out so quickly. Yeah. And so no, even even really if you're well down on like the leaderboard and like what that means for gamers, I would just be stoked about the leaderboard because these other things that we're about to talk about, right? Those right. things can be tweaked, right? right? But I think the overall structure of what they have is actually really visually appealing from like a, a UI I, standpoint. But anyway, go 100%. ahead. I think one thing they're missing is your own score. Because if you're not on the leaderboard, it kind of is like, okay, wait, where am I? How far away am I? Like, is it worth, you know? Oh. I think if they just posted like what you have. Good point. I like that. I think that'd be a good idea. And hey, what's up, A-Man and Doge Dash Trainer? Welcome, Welcome. everybody. We're just getting into it right now, kind of pros and cons, and then we'll get into some spreadsheet stuff and some other cool. I was so distracted. I should have just <laughs> finished talking. I didn't. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and Doge Dash Trader saying, "LOL, you give it a four. Um, okay, wait. Can you talk bomb right now? I want to make sure your voice I is loud. I think I turned myself down a little bit. But okay, I think I turned you. I think I turned you up. So can everyone hear bomb? Okay, just want to make sure you guys can hear him. All right. So I would actually give the leaderboard itself probably an eight or a nine. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm giving the leaderboard itself, right? That, well, that's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was so saying. So the leaderboard for me gets an eight or a nine, but it's more of the process change and reward okay. system, yeah. right? So you right. love the leaderboard itself. It's the process. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah. it's a process itself that's going to uh, be tweaked a little bit and is going to be like right. updated. So okay, so leaderboard itself right. is awesome. Process. Yeah, what what do you what do you or like or, or not like about the process? And then let's talk about that a little bit. By process, you mean like kind of payout and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Guess? Yeah. Um. It's just not high enough, I think, and I, I, okay. I do like the percentage idea of grouping. I think that makes it cool, like where it's 25 through 50 is a group, and then 50 to 100 is another group. I, I do yeah. like that, I will say. So yeah, no, that's another thing I like. I think that's cool, too. Um, hey, Will, up, Will. Welcome, Will. Um, so let us know if, if Bomb's voice is better, and I'll, I'll let you take – so Doge Dash Trainer saying four sounds too negative ask, after first 24 hour. Well, well, hold on. We're explaining it a little whoa, bit here. Whoa, whoa. And I think it's important to – as the updates are being made, right, because I think, I think first and foremost, the thing that we need to remember, right, is that the product that's being put out right now is not the end product, right? 100%. That is going to be tweaked, refined, maneuvered closer to the end product, but they had to put something out, right? Right. So I think we can all agree, right? The something that they put out, it accomplishes what? It moves toward 100% sustainability, right? Right. Yes. Will the leaderboard is out? Doge Dash Destroyer saying Doge Dash only fans, question mark. We can neither confirm nor deny anything of that nature. True. Um, but uh, the um, all, all we can say is we are we are not no trust me you do not you do not want to see you want to see bomb and I from the from the waist up that's that's for sure you don't you don't want to see any more any more of this okay you you want right. to see us we're wearing Here, hoods <laughs> yeah here's an, here's another thing I think that um, I like I was saying they have the ability to tweak it now and with this whole sustainability going. I think that investors were waiting for this to happen. And that's why everybody's seeing like these big buy-ins because it's like, okay, now it's sustainable. They're not losing money and they're only pushing stuff out now. And it's like, price is good to go and the price is going to start rising up. So that from the investor standpoint, I'm stoked and I'm super happy about it, to be honest. 
So yeah, so I think thing. I think that's the thing, right? They swung the pendulum to the opposite side of the spectrum because it was unsustainable. A lot of rewards paying out. So instead of like trying to find a happy medium, they just right. swung it over here and said, "We're going to go full sustainability. We don't want to worry about it anymore. Right. And then we're going to tweak it if we have to bring it back this way. We're going to do that, but at least we're going to have a company to move back." this direction right right so which is, which is to, to be honest they've been so gamer minded right. so far that we've had the we've had the like i don't know what the word is like the rewards for so long that it's understandable for it to swing so far this way and then to slowly tweak it back towards the gamer so it's understandable to be honest yeah um i i would agree i think they they have to do what they've been doing here um doge ash trainer saying my boy destroyed knows what's up negative energy is contagious what what oh, negative energy is contagious all right um yeah i would let's i would agree keep it but positive then let's keep it keep it positive i is yeah, there, were yeah. there negative i didn't think i missed any comments here i'm i don't think i was negative I was, oh was hey, it to hey. you I'm thinking maybe it was me. I mean, I'm being honest on what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I think was... I think it's important to have a good, solid, like, <laughs> hey, this is what we this is what we think. But again, right. allowing for that grace and like, hey, let's let's move past it and and figure it out. Um, right. Doge Dash Destroyer saying Doge Dash leaderboard betting system thoughts. Yeah, so I saw that. I actually thought that that was an interesting uh, comment there. I, I think the the comment about being able to basically place bets or wagers on where other people will finish, you know, like if you said, Hey, I think bomb's going to get in the top 50, right. Or I get, I think so-and-so is going to get in the top, um, whatever. I think, I think it, some legal things come into, I think a, yes. Thing. And I think B is, I think it's going to be kind of dependent on there's, there's a lot that could go wrong there with other players, Part two, especially since everyone kind of knows the players right now. I think yeah. there's a lot of, I don't want to say like insider trading that could happen, but if people were like reaching out mm. to people on like discord and they were like, Hey, I have my bet that you would get here. If you finish here, let's split it kind of thing because the community right. is st and the players are still so small. So those are just a few things where I was like, I, that could be an issue, but I like the idea. I like the overall idea, and I think that that's an interesting concept to flesh out anymore. Mike saying, right, don't think right. they will allow gambling like that. Swamp I, Sniper I saying, that, yeah. yeah, Swamp Sniper saying, would be cool to bet. Yeah, probably not. Uh, Doge Dash Trainer saying, the four rating is, okay, Doge Dash Trainer. Doge Dash Trainer is all caps all the time. The four <laughs> rating is negative. That's below average, LOL. Um, Hey, I'm I'm gonna let the bomb have he can have his thoughts. He can have his Here's, thoughts and we can all we can all have our thoughts there. It's important. Uh Hans yeah, is I saying mean, I'll go for it. No, I'm just gonna say like the gamer side of me is like, yeah, this is a, a four. The investor side of me is like eight and nine. This is a great update. It right. saves money for the company. But I, I don't wanna taint what I'm believe or what I like am thinking, you know, like I just wanna be honest. I don't wanna say I'm not as a gamer, I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, keep pushing Doge Dash. I'm, I'm not happy with it because I can't earn as much money, right? So I'm just being honest. Yeah, and I think it's, it's not negative. I think it's fair to be honest like that, you know, and just rather openly honest with your words than say one thing and sell your NFT. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we got to be honest, man. We got to be honest, and we're always going to be oh, up front <laughs> Sorry, Doge Dash Trainer. I'm throwing shade. The shade is going out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh shoot. Man. There's no recovering from that shade. All right, Hans is saying before I rage openly, I'm better quiet. LOL. <laughs> so I think yeah. here's here's what I think. I think it's important. And we're about to do this in a second. We're gonna actually look at the leaderboard and we updated some mm -hmm. figures, so it's gonna be super helpful for you guys to see. Uh, you know, some, some numbers there. So I'm sniper. Hey, sorry guys. The shade came out. And we're going to, we're going to go back to sunshine over Let, here. Let's keep it positive here. Yeah. <laughs> let's, just do, let's do that. Let's keep it positive. All right, here we go. Let's, let's continue here. Cause the biggest thing is we want to, we want to help. We want to help push Doge Dash to the next level. And so I don't know what happened to 
Finn, I think you unplugged your mic or something. Did I? Are you there? Uh, can oh, you no, hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Sorry, I, I probably you. moved it when I like fell over. All right, so yeah. Doge Dash Destroyer saying Doge Dash loot boxes to allow new players to test out the ultra rare NFT abilities. Thoughts? Yeah, so I like, I like the idea of uh, having loot boxes and being able to rent um, and being able to rent, you know, stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's a yep. great idea. Um, to be able to allow new people kind of in the game and, and give that visibility. Uh, you know, I think that's important. And I right. think I think if people don't allow for new players to have those abil- abilities or get that flavor, then we're going to see the, the NFT price not have that same level of, you know, uh, notoriety and, and really knowing mm. what the abilities hold so they know what the value actually is with the NFT. So I think that's super important. Um, but why don't we, why don't we shift over to the leaderboard, show the the thing. So I think basically what we were looking at is the pros of the leaderboard. You have, uh, obviously the token price, right? I mean, I know it's not Mm -hmm. been a long amount of time, but you can clearly see investors are very bullish about the token price, uh, as a result of this change. So that's huge in lifetime updates, the leaderboard, just looking super cool. I think those are definitely pros. I think on the con side, uh, one of the things we haven't touched on yet uh is i think it's kind of too long the 24 hours i think it's yeah. it's having too many people that are either like you got to just be intensive gaming for too long which paul kind of mentioned he didn't want to do that the the kind of you're bleeding your right. fingers and you're continuing to play 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 um so i think it's important to maybe look at you know honestly what if it was like two hour increments right where you're just going for two hours and you're like hey the next one starts in like 15 minutes I'm going to play my game for two hours and see if I can get on the leaderboard that allows right. either, you know, casual gamers or gamers that play a lot to get the best of both worlds there. And you get yep. both of those gamers rather than losing some. Cause right now you kind of lost me or, or bomb for the most part or other people that are just like, I don't have 24 hours. There's no chance that right. I'm going to be able to do this. So anyway, that, that's something. six even, you know what I mean? Like, right. So I think, like I think it's... two might be helpful and you can just, you can play, you can have a, a quick kind of thing. And if you can go longer than that, then it just restarts and you win the rewards again. I don't know if that'd be difficult from them from a dev standpoint. Um, trainer saying no problem with selling my two X Doge Dash trains. Say what you have to say clearly. Yeah, no, I think that that's important. And, and again, Doge Dash trainer, it, I think just like everyone has as their voice, I think it's important for Bomb to have his voice too and to say what he honestly feels about a project with, you know, the good and the bad and, and what he thinks could be improved. And I, I like having Bomb on here because he does have a very honest take or honest perspective. And it's important to get that without the, you know, oh, everything's great. We're going to the moon. Even if we don't really feel that way, you know, I think it's, it's important to have the honest feedback so the project can continue to get better. And that's what everyone right. wants from people. It's that honest feedback um, and definitely not tempering that to say, oh, you know, I really don't feel this way, but I'm going to say woohoo anyway, because you're never going to get that from us. We're, we're just not that way. We're, we're going to be honest and we're going to have an honest dialogue. We're going to be optimistic because the team has given us so many reasons to be optimistic. So we're going to be optimistic always. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to say it, say it like it is or like we see it. Um, let's yeah. see. Doge Dash or Snow saying, hey guys, welcome Snow, welcome here. Um, Zombie Dash leaderboards, question mark. So yeah, I think once they roll out the game, they're going to have Zombie Dash leaderboards just like they do this. I think they're going to roll out the similar system. Hans is saying, just for fun for today, I nearly won 30 normal games today. OMG, welcome. Well done, Hans. Well done there. There Snow saying, I'm from Brazil. The Doge Dash community in Brazil is huge. That's what I've heard, which is awesome to me i think more than 50 percent of the players are actually brazilians to be honest and to us literally no one liked the changes unfortunately so this is why i think it's good that we're, we're talking about it and going through it because mm-hmm. i think for people that are players token investors and nft holders there are very different categories for all of those right and you definitely need right. to have all three of those but there is a level of importance <laughs> sorry bob okay. there's a level of importance to each category there that needs to be emphasized so can you ref can you pull up the sheet i, I think it'd be yeah. kind of interesting to pull up the sheet so right before we hopped on this call we noticed that the token count was about 800 it was about 830,000 that had been pull, pooled into the reward system so 
you can actually see based on the spreadsheet here on the left hand side where we I might have to zoom in here hold up I okay yeah let us know if you can see it if you need us to zoom in we can the... zoom in some so snow saying i wish that the staff could know that because it's literally the actual feedback of the players but as much as i try to express that i just get kind of censored by players and mods that don't even play the game for the players i think almost no one liked it so this is the the interesting thing right it's you you gotta weigh both the players and the investor slash company right and if you go too far on the player side which is what they did you have the investors unhappy and if you go too far on the investor side then you have the players that are upset by the changes because there's not enough rewards no one really wants to play right so right. Um, okay, Swamp Sniper saying, I think a benefit of the two-hour leaderboard is it prioritizes efficiency. You you only have two hours. Maybe the most games you can win is around 18. High win percentage is favored. Uh, if you die, your chances of making a top spot are less likely. So that's why I like it because I like I it's it's more like fast paced, but at the same time, you also aren't having to game 24/7. Which let's be real, no one really wants to do that, especially if the rewards aren't primarily what they were before. So I think this kind of caters to both sides of that elite gamers and uh, non-elite gamers as well. Um, yeah, and Swamp Sniper saying this way, it isn't about grinding, rather about having skill. So right. quick segue. So basically what you can see on the uh, on the spreadsheet here, we, we shook things up a little bit to make it closer and you could see everything. So on the left, right, the the position shows first through I think like 25th and you have the potential dollars mm -hmm. that we we put in based on like what they could do based on the dash entry uh, fee as well as potential rewards that you could earn based on a percentage of distribution that's what we plugged in prior to knowing what the actual one was was rolled out and the interesting thing is we actually weren't that far off you know we it, were, I'm, I'm actually happy how close we were we were like right on fire a week ago or no, it was, it was, Friday, it was like five days ago, I think. But yeah. the bottom line is, like we were saying, I think it's going to start at around 5 or 6%, which it does. And you can see the actual, this is actually calculated based on taking the, the, the amount of rewards um, and, and having that, uh, the, the overall, the amount of rewards divided by the total uh, that would be paid out. So as you can see, this is actual uh, live data. This is ac actual, actually like consistent with what the payout is. And this is assuming the total prize pool is a million tokens. Again, it was about 840,000, I believe, right around the time that we started this stream, which we're giving them the benefit of the, of the doubt that within the next like hour and 10 minutes, it would get to a million, right? So that's what, what these numbers are based off of. Um, so we have... Uh, quite a few comments. So uh, GWiz saying that's true. NFT utility will benefit as well. Mike is like, oh yeah. Uh, GWiz saying especially with two extra lives. So everyone's kind of liking the idea about the two hour time period. And as we showed before here, and uh, I think Doge Dash Trainer posted this on, on Twitter as well, um, mm -hmm. which thanks Doge Dash Trainer for sending that out. That I think was helpful to get that that circulated as well. You can adjust the cost per dashes here uh, to go from like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And basically you can raise the cost per dash in order to uh, create a higher rewards pool, which I also think would be important if you were to limit the gameplay time frame to being like two hours. So let's change the cost per dash and let's just say 500, right? And now it's important to keep in mind. So yeah, there, there are the, the rewards shift a little bit. It's still not crazy, right? It's still mm. not worth gaming 24 hours, <laughs> to be honest. But if you did break it up into 24 hour increments, I mean, you, you'd make $2 in, in <laughs> or two hour increments. You, you could make $2 for getting first place. But at the, the same time, I feel like people, the ego side of things would be like, hey, I want to play right. for a short period of time and I want to see if I can earn something. And especially if the rewards went up, that might increase that, that likelihood um, as well there. Um, and so current price, again, this is based on the current price being where it's kind of, well, almost at. It, it's not right there right now. I think it's at right, 0. Right. 0. 0. 0.00018. Um, 
But again, if you adjust the cost per dash or as the price goes up, you're going to see these numbers. Again, if the price, if the cost per dash remained at 100 and the current price was where it was before, where we basically were at 0 0.001, you're going to have this current outlook as well. So if you multiply yeah. the cost per dash times that by five or times the current price by five, you're going to get the numbers that are shown here, if that makes sense. Um, all right. So Snow saying they reduced like 99% of the earnings. If they reduced like 50 or 60%, that would be totally acceptable. Doge Dash Destroyer saying the new leaderboards are terrible for new player adoption. Yeah, leaderboard is tough for is tough for newer players. So, hey, welcome J Dub. J Dub has joined the chat. Welcome, buddy. Um, so go ahead. I'll let you address that bomb, and then and then we can kind of yeah. From there. No, I mean this was our concern, and again, none of this is final. I'm sure they're going to change all of this stuff in the next few weeks. To be honest, because it it's not. In my opinion, it's not going to be sustainable because you've lost all your easy and medium players. Maybe not all the medium players, but you've definitely lost those players to where they don't want to just give money to other people right now, right? So there's no... I, what are you I talking about? That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you're playing easy? Well, no, I'm I'm just... I'm going to only play for, like, this stream. No, but, but and... like, literally two wins for you and you're already in the top 100. So oh, really? It's Yeah, it's, like, oh. it's unreal. Like, I played three wins, three games this morning to get three wins, and I'm still in the top uh, 90 right now. So, like, it, it doesn't take long at all. And so I think the problem is you've lost all your easy and medium players, and therefore the prize pool has gone down tremendously there's not as many dashers taking place yeah so if you broke it up into tiers like we were talking about earlier say hey let's have an easy tournament a medium tournament an elite tournament sure the prize pool is going to be so much smaller for the easy players or whatever and you can have the cost per dash lower but it's going to make it so that the everybody's playing consistently and if you start winning on easy then you can graduate to medium or or normal and then start playing there so i think they need to implement that sooner than not uh, but I think they just wanted to say, oh, it's like a massive reward. You can win a million tokens, but there's just not as many people playing right now, which right. is kind of a bummer. And I think... And so when, I'll go for go it. Go ahead. No, oh, I was just going to say, I think people would be more accepting of the increased price per dash, especially in areas where... In areas of the world where that might be a lot more than it is in others, if it was right. a shortened time period. So they didn't feel like oh, they can only do Doge Dash, they can't do anything else for 24 hours, otherwise they risk right. not winning. But if they did it for two hours, then they can actually dedicate that amount of time, that two-hour time slot, to just going hard and gaming, and then they can get back to their family and their lives that they have outside right. of Doge Dash, right? So, uh, all right, let's get some comments. Uh, I'll go for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to do. So then Snow said, I'm really sad about my NFT, though. I just got a gold chain expecting it would give me two Xs, but now it's a 2X score instead. And that's exactly, we actually have this in our in our wonderful spreadsheet here. But we actually talk about, we talked about this on Friday and kind of discussing about what NFT players, uh, how we could actually benefit them. And our thought process was to kind of take off the top, because if you increase the price, Let's say you increase the price to, for now, because the price is so low. Let's say you did it a thousand. Oh no. A thousand cost per dash. I had a virus protection alert pop up and it froze my uh, screen and I died as a result. <laughs> That's really unlucky. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the I think the biggest thing is dashes, and the problem is the reason we don't have more dashes, and we're gonna keep raising this uh, for elite players until we get more dashers. Dashers is the biggest thing. We need to keep easy players and medium players playing the game, otherwise they're gonna fall off. So I think this needs to increase is the most important thing. Right. So and you're so saying we, new adoption is the thing that needs to be focused on. It's, it's really the ticket because if you don't have right. new adoption, one, I don't know any medium or easy player who one is playing right now other than Hans that one is enjoying themselves. I'm sorry, but like you're grinding so much more than I have been grinding today and you're in like 90th position. Then we have NFTs that are going to come out. I don't know who's going to be motivated to play the game if they don't have an NFT. It completely 
gets rid of them and they're not even worth it anymore. So then you're going to be, you're going to only have NFT players that only play elite. And that's the only prize pool you're going to get. So you're going to have to raise the cost per dash tremendously. And then people that aren't good are going to start bowing out and it's only going to be the top 100 people. So yeah, that's what needs to be fixed. You need to get new adopters and then you need to take care of your NFT holders outside of that. But the biggest thing is new dashers, because if you have a, a tournaments and rewards for easy and medium tournaments and players, they can boost it up and you can raise the price to five. If you raise the price to 500, but then you doubled your dashes to 20,000, it's the same thing. So we need to get either this number up or this number up. But the most important thing is the dashers. Well, or, or the price the, the get, or getting the price up too, right? Uh, no. What do you mean? 10 X that price. Because it doesn't, but it's still dominated by only NFT players and elite players. That's oh, you, saying. You're, you're saying you're saying the rewards from one through one hundred is only going to stay right. consistent if you have new adopters. Right. Yeah, right. I and I would agree with that. I think, mm-hmm. I think the biggest thing is how do you attract new players unless you have that tiered system where it says congratulations, you are now ready for X, Y, or Z, where you can't have right. elite players double dipping on that right? You can't have elite players going back through and playing easy, medium, and elite over and over and over. And I think that's where also renting NFTs comes in, right? If you have renting NFTs where people can actually participate in wearing these skins and they can do that, yet a portion of those NFT rentals goes to substantiate the reward pool or also the NFT holders, that's right. where you're in a golden kind of territory, but they need to roll that out first. They haven't done NFT rentals yet. Yeah. So again, I'm not like, I, I do think that's a great idea. I'm not really, I'm not really scared or nervous about this. I think it's just, Hey, it's just, it's a slow start. And we're at net. We're now on the short end of the stick, if that makes sense. Like we're going to, we're going to be the ones that are going to slowly get back into being important right now. It's just mainly investors in my opinion. Yeah, so let's let's go chat really quick. So, yeah, so you got Snows, G Wiz saying, "Don't worry, once prize pool is increased, you'll still get paid." Also saying, "True that I have a kid to raise." LOL. I, I'm guessing that was in relation to the uh, the length of time for the the leaderboard. Doge Dash Destroyer yeah. saying, "NFT holders get to be beta testers for new games slash exclusive game modes?" Question mark. To be honest, I feel like. I feel like it's based on what people actually want to do. Like, look, we can help out the game by being beta testers, but I, I think it's it's also a, a reward to the company to be having those people. I think that's awesome if it was a side add-on, but I think they got to do a little bit more for people that hold these rare NFTs, these 3X chains, these 2X chains, because I think what was what was dished out and what was kind of told or what was said are two very different things. And I think giving exclusive access is awesome in there and it should be something where it's like that exclusive group. But I think there's probably a little bit more that could be done. But yeah, I think that that's a great idea. And I think there should be more things like that. Uh, J Dub saying day two, give it two months like the old model. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So Compare apples with apples when all the data is in. So is this in reference to the spreadsheet to... No, it's it's probably just like the update that they came out with the leaderboard and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I don't think it's going to take... T- if they wait two months to change this, I think it's going to be very bad. Because, I mean, looking at the numbers now, it's like you can make a solid $12 playing for... I mean, this person's, if you do the math, this person's done at least 75 dashes, first place, 75 dashes, which means if you divide that up seven dashes, they've played 10 hours and they're making $12. That's a lot of time. That's like a fucking hour. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, I mean, like if, if you do the math, that's, that's what it is because first place is, I mean, that was a while ago, too. They're almost at 800,000, so they've done at least 75 dashes. So let's just say they're in. you can't win. I guess you can win under that 6.5, but let's say right. it's six minutes still. It's still just 
that's bad. Yeah, but again, and I think J-Dub has a good point here. So J-Dub's saying, yeah, addressing everyone's negativity, it won't be two months, give it a week, then pivot. Yeah, I think I think you, you need a little bit more data is, is what J-Dub's saying. Like it is yeah, within the first- Yeah, 100%. It is within the first the first day. I do think that there are bomb to your your point. I do think there are some consistent themes though, right? Like you're saying, right? Th- these numbers aren't exactly going to just shoot up in terms of right. what you're going to see. If anything, with where they're at right now, they're going to be a decline because people are going to see these numbers, right? And they're going to be like, well, what? Why am I playing? Kind of a thing. So I think there's a right. there's a balance there where we as players can be like, hey, they just they tried something new, right? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt to keep going in this direction. Yet at the same time, let's also say, hey, this would be our suggestion to to maybe get more player retention and new player adoption as well as satisfy your investors, right? Um, right. So I, I completely agree, Jada. Uh, G Wiz saying. Doge Dash Destroyer, it was promised as a perk of being a Gen 1 holder. Hopefully we get a chance to test. Oh, cool. I, I forgot about that. Uh, Doge Dash Destroyer saying, if you guys had to restart Doge Dash from scratch, what would you do differently? Wow. <laughs> say, that's a big... There's a lot. There's a, there's a there's big a... question there. I got to say, though, again, and this reverts that's back hard. to what we've, what we've talked about before. I think for all the flack that they get from so many people that are like, you promised this would be out by, you know, end of February, and it wasn't out until 10 days later or whatever. I'm like, look, I've been in other projects where they say, hey, this is going to be out by the end of the year. And then you're in Q1 or Q2 and nothing's happened. And you're like, well, I guess that wasn't the best investment. I think they're ver- being very transparent and they're actually doing a great job of getting things out. But you have to put something right. out before you can revise it, right? And this is them putting something out that's sustainable. Sure, it's gonna need tweaks to, to basically modify it to the player's side a little bit more, but they had to put something out that was sustainable because they just had to patch the bleed, right? They were just bleeding right. fast in tokens. They had to patch the bleed. And then once they say, okay, you know, we patched the bleed, but it created these other issues, then those issues can be addressed, but they're not as serious, right? They're, they're a little bit less serious from a, company still being around standpoint i guess um let's uh, see i think another thing would have been i probably would have i mean marketplace i think they're going to add it later but like being able to play with nft uh what are they called like nft like pow like not powers but like abilities abilities yeah abilities i think they would if they would have done that earlier that would have been cool because then everyone would have been stoked for nfts and then yeah I mean, everybody was stoked still. It's just, there's, yeah. I mean, you never know how it would go. That's the problem. But, you just but, never know. And, and here's the thing. Here's why I think it would have been tough to do marketplace first is I think the marketplace was would have almost been trying to take it to the next level before the concept was even proved or proven, yeah. right? And I think they had to get out a game. They had to say, hey, th- we can actually do this rather than everyone and their mother and father are like, Hey, we're going to do release NFTs and have a marketplace. And it's like, Oh yeah. Are you like that was promised like two quarters ago and you still haven't shown any progress closer to that. So I think they did have to go this, this route the whole time. And I like that they're pivoting now to the marketplace a lot. And I agree with J dubs, uh, comment. He, he said, uh, uh, he said, patience is a virtue, as is analytical thinking, foundation laid, now scale and build to the moon. G Wiz saying, not make NFTs before they realize what they're using it for. First, I would forget NFTs is what Han's saying. Um, j saying, but coin price increasing, so even though less Doge Dash, more money. So that's where I kind of am as an investor. I'm like, I kind of like where the price is going. And I like the mindset that they had. And I know I sent this to a, to a Discord group chat, uh, but that has me excited. I'm stoked about that. I think the, the price direction that they thought about the price and they thought, hey, this is something that we need to prioritize above. Are we going to have more players in here that are draining the token price? We got to solve for the token price, right? And investors right. that are dumping in the money, not the people that are taking it out necessarily. 
And I think they switched over to the other camp for the time being. And that's why they created kind of a, whether they wanted to or not, kind of a players versus investors kind of category where it's like, well, it does, it's not necessarily players versus investors. Some of us are both, right? So right. I think as people that are both players are, and investors kind of give the company the benefit of the doubt, give feedback and give them the opportunity to, maybe they swung it way over here. Maybe now they can bring it back just a little bit closer to players so that they don't lose players, which are also driving the notoriety that gets new investors, right? right. Because we rely on one another and that's important to keep in mind. Um, let's... I, I think like, like J-Dub is saying, lay the foundation and build from here. I think they realized that the, the past foundation wasn't going to be sustainable. And that's why this, I would say, is our new foundation of like, okay, this now protects us at all costs, which means that the Doge Dash price can actually start increasing again, which is perfect. And now it's, okay, how are we going to tweak it to where it now makes the gamers happy too? And that's that's probably where they should have started but like the dream and everything kind of probably took over and they're like okay let's just do it this way and go with it go with it like this is so cool we can do right. it and just kind of step step like a uh, stepped ahead maybe a little too fast and i mean that's good for a project that they realize that they can't do it and now they're changing it so i'm i do it's not the greatest thing like end all product but it's great for the foundation of the game and moving forward I yeah say that yeah, absolutely. And uh, J-Dub saying, I'm with you, Finn. The amount delivered in such a short time is amazing. Even fixing leaderboard bug in 10 minutes, I give them props. Yeah, like there's there's so much that they got going on. Like again, NFT integration, are we going to be on stream when that's rolled out? Like they just dropped the leaderboard. They're going to do NFT integration. They had a whole different rewards model that they had to put into the game that let's be real. While a lot of people might not like it, it works, right? It's something that is is set up to where it works. Why, what has you smiling over there, Bomb? What are you smiling about? I'm smiling about this new foundation that we have in Doge Dash and the fact that I'm going to beat level nine right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Hans is agreeing with you. Swamp Sniper is saying, just curious, do you guys think most of the prize pool thus far is from players who think they have a shot on the leaderboard players or slash players actually on it? Um here's here's what i think i think it's mostly players on the leaderboard i'll say but i think there's also more that's come from other people outside the leaderboard i think oh, some looks like we're getting nft integration please sorry just got kicked out of my game i'm that still be NFT i'm still going i'm sorry okay. time out i was on level like 10 then what the heck Hey, more tokens in the prize pool. <laughs> Dude, what? I think I think what they might have happen is they might have people that are going to realize that they played it a little bit and that they've now seen the scores of some of the people on there and they're like, oh, that's not even possible for me. And that's, yep. oh my goodness, what just happened there? Good, 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 good glitch. So that's that's my concern is that that's going to happen and we're actually going to see the rewards pool tomorrow or the day after go down. I could be wrong and I, I hope I'm wrong in that, that people still continue to play and they really like playing. But to Bomb's point, I think I think it's a, an important initial revision because if I think this goes on for a little bit too long, people are going to be like, oh, there's no point in even playing because I can't get good enough rewards or can't even place on that top 100 to get rewards. So I think... It would be good with whatever update that they make, whatever that is, to change that. And I think even if they limit it from 24 hours to two hours, that would help with some of that so that peop it was just rapid fire. Like, man, it, if it's two hours, there are going to be tournaments or leaderboard competitions where you're going to jump in for two hours and you might not have very many elite level players playing and you might be able to, to get you know a top 10 finish. It, you might surprise yourself. So I think that would allow for a little bit more of that rather than 24 hours where you're not really going to sneak up on an elite level player or an NFT holder. So that might kind of solve okay. both there. I, I don't know. Um, Hans saying after the foundation comes the fountain, the money fountain. <laughs> Love it. It's I, I mean, like I'm stoked about it now because from an investor's side, they're like, 
okay, well, now we're not really going to lose any money, like, because they're, they're not going to be having a ton of people selling off because now everyone's going to be holding and hoping for the best, right? And so I think that's, I'm excited for it, to be honest. So yeah. that's, that's, it's just a, it's a solid foundation and that's the good news from it. So. Yeah, I would completely agree with you there. Um sound like your phone was going buzzy buzzy over there it, it is buzzy buzzy i don't even know that number and uh, mike said i added four thousand earlier because i was learning elite so so be quite a few oh what do you mean four thousand i think he was playing and he was adding that so he did like 40 dashes right and he added that oh. basically to the the winner's prize pool right right well, right well, okay. rad that's awesome do you want to get Doge Dash Destroyers comment after um, this. It looks yeah, like we got some more flowing in there. Ugh. Whoa, glitch. Yeah, so or lag. overall, I, I think it's exciting and it's going to be, uh, again, I'm not happy with it from a gamer's perspective because it, I mean, we were living in the dream version of what it was, I think, you know? That it was, was, the, it oh was never going to be there for very long. I can you can make can... so much money doing this. Yeah, I mean... Basically printing money at that point. Right. And yeah. so I think we all knew at some point that it wasn't sustainable. And I kept saying it from the beginning, there's just no way that this is sustainable. Like, I don't get it. And so I just keep, I just kept playing and I got some some money from it, but... I think this is a perfect foundation and future for Doge Dash. So 100%. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm yeah. really excited. And Definitely. I think the, the best thing is they're going to listen. Um, I'll get to chat here in a sec. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I think the best thing is that they listen to the community and they're going to come back with, all right, we we know we went this the severe side to the investors. Now let's tweak it back and see how it works to where we're not losing money. We're not losing investors and you guys are happy. So, Right. All right, let's get Doge Dash Detroit said Doge Dash sellers exhausted question mark tokens moving into strong hands question mark bulls taking control again question mark. <laughs> I love those question marks by the way. It's actually fantastic. I love how you um, read them. <laughs> bulls yeah. taking control again question mark. <laughs> <laughs> tokens moving into strong hands question mark. Well, what are your um, thoughts? I, Share. I think um I think there's still a lot that's in the portals that people can't sell yet that will probably happen in the next few days. People might be like gamers are going to be oh, upset like this is dumb and then sell everything. And so I think we'll probably see some downtrend on that when everybody's able to sell. Uh, but, but they're going to be that bad. They're going to have to sell in increments, right? 100,000 every six hours. So if right. that's... So I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I, I don't um, even think that's going to be th that noticeable. I, Really, I wouldn't say people are taking control in terms of whales either. I don't think. I mean, that guy that was a huge buy of like twenty four grand. I think it was. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't think it's the whales. I've been in other cryptos where there's much bigger whales. Let me put it that way. And so I don't think that that's like that big. Um, uh, almost a ten no. x from question. From question previous okay i added oh, got it, got it. uh hand said fountain i mean a money volcano everything is questionable yeah exactly the way they had it set up was not sustainable and this new way is sustainable and now they can tweak it and decide oh let's throw a three million tournament this weekend right and so i think that's good i like that they have that ability now it sucks again it sucks as a player and they're going to have to tweak it or they're going to lose players. And they understand that and they know that. But right now it's like, okay, we're good now. We're back on the – I feel like they're back on the attack now, if that makes sense. I like that. Um, I like that language. Yeah. They're back on the attack. Um, yeah, I, I would so, I would agree with it. that. Um, so I think long term, you have to be excited with it as a player in the short term. A lot of people are like, Oh, it would be so much cooler if X, Y, or Z. Right. And I think what's actually cool. Yeah. There were a lot of Twitter spaces before, uh, that we were a part of where you had Sander Sig hopping on and just having a dialogue with people. How cool was that to just be able to have that back yep. and forth with them and not feel like, 
they just weren't talking down to anyone. I loved that. People were throwing out solutions or ideas and like, they're so nice. That's what I really like right. about them. They're just so like, people are saying things or like cutting at them and they're like, just great responses, like just being very positive and like listening to feedback, internalizing it, seeing what they can do about it. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of how the team has, has responded to things. Um, we have G whiz. Can I, wait, wait, can I, yeah, yeah I was just going to say, Oh, Oh, he put it back on there. I didn't know he put it back on there. Yeah. Go ahead and read his, uh, who G whiz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why is number one player still playing? Nobody, Nobody can catch up to them with 45 minutes that is, left. That's a really good question, though. <laughs> LOL. Like, Maybe he thinks the prize what? pool goes completely to him. Save your dashes, bro. That's actually really funny, and that's that's pretty accurate. Um, but, like, why? I don't know. You know what I mean? Botting? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it makes absolutely no sense for them to be dashing right now. Maybe season, maybe like, they just don't know when it's going to swing to the next thing. I don't know. If they're that good at the game, I would assume they they should probably know. Um, but we'll see. I mean, yeah, so, I oh that. no, I got to do something special here. Here we go. Yeah, oh, I messed up. Um, so, Bomb, we have cool. exciting things coming up. Do you want to share one of the exciting things that we have coming up? Let's Let's move into more exciting news. Let's move into more exciting news, 100%. Um, yeah, I think I'll share one thing for sure. I think, uh, the biggest thing we've realized is that like, I know everybody kind of loves doing Twitter spaces and hanging out there. And so we're thinking, Hey, let's bring some people on, on these streams and have you guys join a voice call and kind of talk with us about it. Um, that way you guys don't have to type and save your fingers for doge dash, you know? So, um, yeah, that's one of the big announcements that we're going to be doing is, we're going to start bringing some guests on here. And so if you guys are interested in that, we'd love to probably start taking some, some people on here to talk with you guys. A hundred percent. And this is just this, you don't have to be a, a player, a token investor, an NFT holder. Like you can be any one of those, uh, you know, things we're, we're not just looking for players. We're not just looking for token holders. We're not just looking for NFT holders. It's important. I think to get the, the perspective of a lot of different people and to have the dialogue, because that's one of the things that that bomb and I really like. Uh, we like to have the back and forth, but we also like to approach it um, from a, I like to think net positive perspective where we're not being like overly negative yet at the same time, we're not being blind. Right. I think there's right. a happy medium where you can be, Hey, like, what are your thoughts on this? And then, okay, where does it go from here? And uh, trainer brought it up a, a little bit earlier. I, I don't, I don't see bomb as being overly negative in, in saying those thoughts. I think he's, he's allowed to have his, his opinion about what he thinks about a certain rollout or reward system or, or whatever that is, <laughs> even if he's feeling really negative right now. That fireball dude, what is going on? But we can share what these things and have an open dialogue without people being afraid of just screaming FUD or, you know, sorry, just get out of here. Like, we don't want to hear your perspective. I think it's important to hear those perspectives and then respond, you know, with an air of positivity where we're not shutting people down and making them afraid to right. speak because their opinion differs from our own. So I think that's really important to just have that in the community and be a community that's accepting of different viewpoints and, and just different voices. So in order to exemplify that, we wanted to do that ourselves and bring other people where it's like, Hey, if G Wiz wants to hop on, we're going to get him up here. So you can, you can have the dialogue, at least audio. So G Wiz is like a, a, a featured guest, right? And we're going to be talking about different topics. And so if you have specific topics that are, that, that you're passionate about, we want to bring you on. We also want to do duels where you can also come on here and compete. Right. And so we're, we're thinking about starting to roll that out a little bit more so that more people have the opportunity to have their viewpoints out there. Um, and we can have more of a dialogue that's fashioned around Doge Dash while, you know, we'll still be here. It's not like we're going to be saying goodbye to Bomb or saying goodbye to Finn. But at the same time, we want to just branch out a little bit more so that you're not just hearing from us specifically, but we'll have featured guests that are going to come in so that you can hear other opinions or perspectives and have that that dialogue while we will also be doing more duels with with the uh, different game and games that are going to be coming out 
uh, for Doge Dash. So we're going to have other people that can also participate in those as well. So yep. exciting updates right there. But that's that's the main one right there that we're really excited about because we're, we're really looking forward to making that very community centric um, as Doge Dash is a great community where that's uh, involved. So Swamp Sniper saying, just realize the top 100. Oh, gee whiz saying sus, what, what you were talking about a little bit earlier. Swamp Sniper saying, just realize the top 100 to 51 players right now will have made 4,300-ish based on their ranks, but do you think they only spent 4,300 dash on lives? Maybe they spent more than they're going to make. Yeah, so that's that's one of the things that, you know, at least initially I was like, oh, you know, that's, I mean, probably, right? Because that's 43 dashes. So based on whatever their score right. is, you could calculate it, but it's... I mean, at this point, it would make sense for me to stop dashing. Let me put it that way. Probably. Like, Probably. I mean, I'm so, already in the top 100, so it would. I don't know what top 50 is point wise, but at, like again, like G Wiz was saying, it makes no sense for first place to, right, be dashing right now. And know? they will tweak this stuff. They will make the necessary updates. Um, but I think they're they're in the right direction where this is concerned. And again, it's only been 24 hours, right? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt because. They have right. done a good job in a very short amount of time in getting so many things out. And now they're cycling in NFT integration in a very short amount of time. It even could come out. Is it coming out tomorrow or today? Live. It was supposed to be today, but then the Doge Dash CEO said um, 24 hours like this morning. And okay. so I'm thinking it'll be, it'll be probably right after the leaderboard ends today or I'm assuming overnight. That's yeah. So J Dub saying, I like it more talking and discussion is good. More opinions and voices, <laughs> not mine <Right>. though. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's good to have opinions, and that's why I, we we never like to shut down people that are are like you know if, if you really want to have an open dialogue and just have that back and forth, don't want it to be overly negative, right? And and we 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 want it to right. be kind of like uh, Doge Dash, you know net positive yet at the same time we want to hear actual opinions we don't want to hear you right. know oh let's not talk about that like that could be i bad. mean if, <laughs> if you were just saying everybody's a everybody's like super happy with the update and nft holders are like stoked for it <laughs> that's 100 percent not true at all nft like okay there's some people that are like stoked about it for some reason that i have no idea why but like NFT holders are not happy, like plain and simple, and that needs to be voiced. Otherwise, it's they're gonna think everything's a okay, right? So that's why right. you need to have you need to have people say, no, I'm not happy. I own an NFT, and I'm not happy with what's happening right now. Right, we need to change something. So yeah, there's 100. percent You need to have honesty, and you need to be able to say things like that, or it doesn't get talked about or pushed forward. Right. So and and I think that that's why I was and and <laughs> trainer forgive the shade again, but I think that's why it's important. Like just noting that like bomb and I we're still holding on to like our NFTs right 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 now. Right. Like we're not we're not telling you guys oh give it time like give it time for the NFTs and yet at the same time like we're not we're not doing that. And conversely, we're not saying like, oh, NFTs are so bad and you should totally sell your NFTs and then trying right. to scoop up NFTs at a lower price, right? We're, we're trying to have an honest dialogue about like, hey, this is actually what we think. We're not going to do differently than what we're saying. And we're also not going to say differently than what we're doing. So that's just why we're trying to keep that open dialogue. And so it might come across uh, trainer uh, again. I don't know if you're still on the stream, but as overly negative when uh, bombs saying, I don't think so. <laughs> probably not. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> but it might come across as overly negative when bombs saying like, "Hey, four out of ten, But that's like his opinion, and he's he's going to make sure he's he's staying net positive when it comes to Doge Dash as a whole. And hey, this is what can be done to to make it a little bit better. So I don't want to silence and people like bomb or or say that they're not allowed to speak here or that the negativity has got to, you know, hit the door because I think that that's an honest opinion that that should be heard. Um, yep. So let's, yeah. and, and again, I think we, I mean, if, if you wait, if trainer is still here and you actually waited to hear what we said, it was kind of, uh, Finn even talked about it, how, well, it's not really like a four in terms of the leaderboard. The leaderboard looks great. We both said that and we're like happy with it. I was just saying from the gamer's perspective, it's a four for me because, 
I was able to make a ton of money and now I'm not. And that makes like, I mean, if you're not upset about that, like, I don't like, Hey, I was able to make a couple hundred thousand dollars playing and now I can't. I mean, that's, it's just right. From a, from a a player standpoint for earning. And I I don't think you have, I think you did a good job of going over your perspective or your opinion on why that was. I don't think you you need to justify it any further, but I think that it it is important to have people that, you know, when bomb said four out of 10, like I didn't necessarily agree with that from the leaderboard only standpoint, which is why, you know, I think it's, it's nice when bomb and I are, are, are on here together because we differ in our opinions a lot of the time. And then we kind of have that back and forth and we come to a solution about, Hey, what would solve all of these? And then try to come to a solution there, which I think is important. Um, yeah, what's up fortune and Mike? fortune. Oh, welcome. Um, so Swamp Sniper said, I have a feeling, especially closer to the 51 rank, that those players may be at a loss. Mm-hmm. Potentially. And we could even run the sheet for all the positions. If Would that be helpful? Ooh, I don't know if that would be helpful because we only did well, it for well, the top 25. Know. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't know what how many people are playing elite versus medium, you know? So Yeah, but you can see the total... Oh, you're right. You're saying total, you know. yeah, the, the dash is what you divide by because we're kind of just dividing right. it by like 9,800 or 10 or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, no, no, I get that. Hey, Mike, hitting the sack. Good night, Mike. Sleep well, Mike. Uh, J-Dub saying, remember you get enjoyment of playing too if you like gaming. Yeah, so it, it's not just about the rewards, but I think there are a lot of players that, and this goes back to what I think there are the two categories that feel kind of hard done by here. You have your 2X and better NFT holders and new player adoption, right? Those two categories right there and bomb right. on level eight. Are you playing well, hard? I'm play- yeah, I'm playing medium or whatever right now. Oh, nice. Just having some fun, you know? Oh, to, J- to J-Dub's point, just yeah. having some fun. Sometimes you just got to have some fun and play the game a little, you know? A hundred percent. So Swamp Sniper's saying if you look at their score, couldn't you just assume they won a hundred percent of their games to see if there is even a chance they profited? Yeah, that's kind of the interesting thing, too. We we make our assumptions based on their profit, <laughs> oops, that they yeah. won a hundred percent of their games, right? Let's check up Doge Dash price right now. Coin uh, that's market Coin Market Cap. Cap. You might want to check a different one. Check I mean, Coin Gecko or Poo Coin or something like that. Let's go Coin Gecko. Yeah, fifteen okay. percent today, folks. Boom. Looking good. We'll we'll take that all the way to the bank. Well, not yet because we're not selling. Wait, I don't. Uh, is that right? Hold on, let me check Poo Coin. Wait, we have a market cap of nine million. Ah, uh, so Poo Coin is not showing that. Poo Coin's showing like one nine, one seven nine two. I like this one better. Yeah, I like that one better. I don't think that one's. I think Poo Coin is is more accurate. I could be wrong. If, if I don't know, you think we're we, people have sold all the way from one eight four to one seven? By the way. We have our first person that would like to be a guest speaker. Guess who it is? Don't look at the chat. You looked at okay, the chat. Okay, I'm not. I I kind of looked at the chat. I I would never think. camping. Never camping. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. So never that camping, dude. We would love to have you never camping. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a out. D- yeah we're gonna we'll be doing a reach out and just we want to get this structured so we can just get people on the stream and and get some different opinions and we'll be advertising hey this is who we're going to have join us um on our stream and so you know they're going to be talking about x y or z and then we're just going to have them have them come on and get some more perspectives hey love you too fortune thank you fortune fortune isn't fortune great um so That's one of the things that we have upcoming. The other are we're going to be doing some, I don't think I've forgotten about that shill drill that I owe you all Doge Dash community. I haven't forgotten about that. You deserve a, well, I don't know if you deserve anything like that. You deserve to see (laughs) 
to not see me in a onesie, but it's going to happen anyway. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be rolling that out. Um, Bomb and I are seeing if we can get a meetup at a joint location. I don't know if that's going to work yet, but we're seeing if we can do that to get some Doge Dash material where you can actually see we're going to actually both be in it. Um, I'll be doing the embarrassing stuff. Bomb will probably be filming or just on camera with someone else filming. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but we're definitely going to do some more of that stuff um, in the near future. And obviously, when NFT integration rolls out, we're going to want to hop on a stream because I think that's going to be fun. Um, I know for me, I have one of the NFTs where it's the roller skates. So if you guys don't have roller skates, oh, you're going to yeah. be able to see gameplay with roller skates as well as uh, bombs, NFTs. Uh, you've, you've got quite a few. Um, so we're going to see what... I have a few. We're going to see what Bombs got for us as well. So that's kind of all the updates. I think the basic thing that I would say is leaderboard looks great. The functionality is awesome. Like Jadeup said a little bit earlier, they fixed the the bugs there uh, pretty quickly. Um, and there's, I think, a lot to be positive about there. It's just kind of, you know, tweaking the, the win rewards process, right? And how you get is rewards and kind of, what's that? Or does it close at five? I think it closes at five. Over? I, oh, okay. I think it closes at five. Because I kind of want to take a look at it uh, at the very end, you know. <laughs> so never camping, saying I'm pumped for it. LOL. Oh, Pyre's jumped in. Hey, Pyre, how's it going? How's it going, buddy? Welcome. Yeah. So I'm I'm stoked for for what we've got uh, upcoming. I'm stoked even more so for what Doge Dash has upcoming. The NFT integration. I'm excited to use that. I think it'd be really, really cool if they did shorten the gameplay time or the leaderboard time from 24 hours so that people that do have mm -hmm. NFTs could be like, oh, dude, I could play for two hours from this time slot and win something. 100%. But then they're not going to play for the next two hours because, you know, they just played for that two hours. Now they're going to spend time with their family. And then that gives other people right. that don't hold NFTs. It kind of solves both without directly solving both. Because then other people are going to have a chance to win at the other uh, tournament time slots. So, hey, yeah. Brandon. Brandon is here. Hey, Brandon. Brandon. What's up? So, just for those of you who are joining us, we went through the spreadsheet, which we can do again. Do you want to just recap with the spreadsheet yeah. and give your final, final thoughts on that? But we went over the leaderboard, pros, cons, kind of looking at the leaderboard. We went over the reference sheet. Um, our, our Google Doc with the actual numbers plugged in. So if you missed it, you can scroll to the beginning for, uh, of this video for a little bit of more of a you know, breakdown when we did that. But we'll recap in just a second. Um, yeah, I'll actually play this one out and then we can recap. Okay. If you, that worked. That sounded good. Yeah, and then we, we were discussing potential like solutions, like increasing the token price, which we had on our, our spreadsheet. <laughs> we finished already. We had on our I spreadsheet. Just like I, I, Sorry. I just, wanted to get, I just wanted to get to the spreadsheet sooner, you know? I yeah, mean, for sure. But we had the uh, the spreadsheet was was on Friday. We, we basically gave two suggestions, which if the price wasn't or the rewards weren't good enough, you could do two things, right? You could uh, increase the cost per uh, dash for, for each game that, that people played or what are you doing here? Well, here we are. Oh, we're back. Oh my goodness. Here that we was, go. we just got thrust, thrusted back here. Um, yep. so this is on the left is what we initially were looking at, um, on Friday. This is what our guesstimation or just rough. This is what it could be look like. And it was actually kind of cool. We actually weren't that far off. We actually said we were going to, veer more like we were going to assume the very best case scenario but we we thought it would probably be around six percent or five percent that they would give first place well it turns out they actually did six percent um so yeah. we did ten percent and then went down from there that's the those are the numbers on the left the one uh the numbers in green as you can see by the header on the right those are the actual numbers these aren't guesses these are based on just dividing the uh total tokens um, from the uh, from the the rewards that are actually on the leaderboard that are being paid out, and it these are exact numbers, so exactly six percent, exactly four percent, three percent, and so on. So this is what based on well, well, thank you. I believe I believe it was uh, for the numbers that actually did the calculations. I believe it was 
I want to say Swamp. Swamp? Was it Swamp that did the numbers? Oh, you just joined the Matrix for like a half second there, by the way. Um, so, yeah, but you're back now. So, okay. uh, so Swamp, wait, what are you saying? So Swamp did... I think what? Swamp was the one that put the numbers together. I think I saw it on a channel that I'm... Yeah, so I sent, I actually, so that was actually from me. I sent you a, a image of Swamp posting that on... Right. Where, where did you post that, Swamp? I think you posted that on... So these numbers... So the reason I even went to the thing and calculated it in the first place was I noticed that Swamp, again, credit to Swamp, awesome job, Swamp. Yeah, yeah. Swamp posted something where he was like, he was, he basically was doing the initial math. And I was like, well, if Swamp's doing it, then it's probably, because I didn't know that they actually factored in the total rewards. Mm. There's It's a little thing up there. And so that's where these numbers came from, but would never have been able to do that if it wasn't for, for Swamp. So shout out to Swamp um, for doing that. And... Um, Oh yeah, he yeah, Swamp saying he yeah, tweeted yeah. it but shared he it in put chat. It in, in certain chats, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so Fortune saying love the spreads sheet uh, there, and so again, I, th these are exact numbers based on the cost per dash being where it's at right now. The total tokens we just assumed a million, uh, even Is it though at I a million. Yet? No, I think it's short of that. I mean, you can check, but just I, know you're yeah, sharing your screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. <laughs> So it's going to show how much you have I'll, in your wallet. I'll do it. I'll do it in another, <laughs> another place. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know. hey, if you get any DMS after this, just know you, you should really uh, try to validate your, your wallet. That That's something. Yeah, no, I do. know. Yeah. I think they need a 12 seed phrase or something. Yeah. Or just, just, yeah, plant just send some flowers or something. Yeah. That's all. Uh, that's the only reason. You know? <laughs> Just trying to help you. Just trying to help you, all these people. So many helpful individuals that reach out. Um, but no, that's the spreadsheet. And again, our thoughts on the leaderboard where, first of all, we were looking at the pros. We really like the the way it looks. We really like the uh, how that's affected the token price and people on the investor side just through this overall process being very excited about the fact that the token is not going to continue that slow bleed. Um, and we're we think just how in live time that's that's kind of in live time the numbers are counting it just looks really neat and i think they did a really good job on the leaderboard there are subtle things that could be tweaked one of the things we talked about was um that your wallet balance would actually be like you could hide it so it just showed asterisks because i think for certain people that are streamers and they mentioned wanting to get more and more streamers as they grow it would be neat for them to be able to hide their actual wallet either their wallet right. ID or their wallet balance and just have their, you know, account name. So you could, you could click a separate tab that would show your wallet balance, but it wasn't displayed for everyone to see. Um, other than that, I think I, another thing was to show your, your score overall, you know? Yes. Because if you don't make the leaderboard, yeah. I don't know that you can see your score. So if you yeah. had a place where you could see your score, so you could know how close you are to like place 100, that would be good for a little bit extra motivation for continuing to play, um, I think. Uh, the other thing was kind of just looking at some things that, that could be done a little bit differently. I think the overall tournament or leaderboard style, it's actually technically not the tournament, being 24 hours is a little too long. I think it, it kind of does what Paul didn't want to do, which is you're like bleeding fingers continuing to play for 24 yeah. hours. But if we checkpoint is in second and they've made 681,000 tokens. That's insane. Wait, what? What I'm are you just saying? I'm looking at the leaderboard right now and it is just Oh, wait, yeah, how many how many is he actually going to make though? Oh, well, I mean, okay. Uh 35,000. What? Yeah, so we're very, very accurate on this, to be honest. Yeah. This is pretty accurate. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, sorry, sorry, checkpoint. Should should have yeah, played, but... should have played more over the weekend. <laughs> that's all I can say. Wow. Six hundred and eighty-one thousand. That's a ton. Um, Ilias is yeah. Ilias has not stopped playing. I don't think. I don't know where Ilias lives, but I have not seen a like pause in gameplay at all. Wow, um, which is impressive. 
Well, I mean, power to you. If you can play for, for 24 hours, I think the majority of people, it might cater to NFT holders and non NFT holders. If it was like two hour inter intervals, like 12 of them in a 24 hour yeah. period and it just resets. So you could see it and be like, Oh, I'm almost at the hour mark. Like I can just wait 15 minutes and then I'm going to game for two hours and then I'm going to get back to, I don't know, my family in the other room. Who's like, why are you still gaming? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, what did we say? How many wins can you get in, uh, in a in an hour? It's like six wins, right? I think so you can get like eight because it takes can, about six and a half minutes. It takes about six and a half minutes to complete. Yeah. So let's say ten. Say ten per hour, and you get a perfect score, ten thousand every time. That means G Wiz and them have all played for two hours, and they're gonna make. Between eleventh place and fifteenth place, which is right there. I mean, it is important. I I hate saying this because you look at it and you're like, that's yeah. like three dollars or four dollars. But you also have to keep in mind this is worth the price where it's at right now. If right. it goes, yeah, if the price if, goes up. Let's say it go. Let's say it lose. We lose a zero, and it's point zero zero two. Right. Very possible very probable yeah. it it makes more sense right because then they're playing say they're playing for three or four hours they can make 30 bucks yep it's not gr okay it's not great but at the same but time all you, all you have to do is increase the price and now it's like holy moly or increase or when you increase your number of dashers yeah but i'm more for this uh, let's do this instead, and then you have more yeah. money you can make. I mean, that's that is fun. You know what I mean? And right. if, it, the problem is, is if you do it this way, you have way more tokens that you can play with, and then you can start handing it out to the NFT holders over here because NFT holders are gonna just dominate this leaderboard. I'm sorry, but like, right? So you need to change that up to make it a little bit more. You do need to change it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So, well, I'm curious. So, if you didn't do this over 24 hours, but you did it under only a, a two hour span each time, do you think that that would be worth it for people to say, hey, I'm going to game for two hours and have a chance at making 10 bucks versus try to game for 24 hours and make 200 or really like 20 bucks? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, here's, uh, to be honest, I would do, I would have the, tur like the, like they're doing, I think it's smart, tournaments and then the leaderboard over 24 hours, that way you can keep people playing and keep people interested. Yeah. So I think that's fine, I think that's a great idea, I just think they need to increase the cost per dash, because there's no way they're going to be getting new dashers in right now, and there's no way with the NFT integration that they're going to be getting new dashers in, it's going to even make it a bigger level of entry so yeah the barrier is going to be a little bit higher right a bigger barrier exactly so again it's they're just they're working it out and they're probably gonna to be honest they're gonna do nft integration and nft owners are gonna dominate the leaderboard or do well enough but i yeah. don't think that that can all be thrown well, yeah um but yeah. yeah all right well i mean let us know if you guys have any questions i don't want to we, it sounded like you had someone come into your room there, there, Bomb. So, I mean, we can... Yeah, give me one sec. Okay. One second given. Two seconds. Three seconds. We will we will bring it right back to Bomb after a, a short message are. from our sponsor. Oh, he's back. back. <laughs> short yeah, message. So, I think this, it was good, and I, I do think, like... I, I don't know if I said it, but what I was saying is they're probably not going to change anything when the NFT gets integrated. They're probably just going to leave everything as is, implement the NFT so that everyone can be kind of like stoked to see their NFT. Because to be honest, I don't know of another project. I'm not well versed in it, but I don't know of another project where you can buy an NFT and then play with that NFT in a game yet. I mean, that's, it that's is pretty cool. insane. That is so cool. It like, is. That is gnarly. I know so, you can buy skins and games and play, but this is like you own it, you know? Yeah, I, I, I cool. would agree. That's that's actually really cool, and I think pretty unique in the current landscape. Yeah. I think 
what would be really cool is, and I think the only people that feel hard done by are obviously, and I don't want to overly go on this, but the 2X and greater holders. Because if you just bought one of the any other NFT skins, if you want to call it skins, or any Gen 1 right. NFTs, I feel like you're still really excited about that, right? Yeah. I feel like it was everyone that held a 2X or greater that was trying to like offload it. And, right. you know, I, I think us and some other people being the exceptions there, but most people were kind of like, oh, this isn't what I, I thought it was going to be. So I think it'd be cool if they did do something to like take a step in the direction of those NFT holders. Um, but again, maybe that's just me wanting that because I hold it and I see other people that have held it and they're the people right. that have reached out. I don't know. It, it could maybe, maybe be different, but yeah. Well, do you want us, do you want us to close the stream here? Do, do you have anything else that you wanted to say? I think we went through everything. We went through the leaderboard thoughts, the reference sheet. We updated that with the current numbers and we went through kind of the solutions that we could see it at least short term, making a good impact from what they have it right now. Some things that wouldn't really have to change too much, but it would be a good kind of update for, for a lot of people that would like to see it. And then we also dropped the bomb, if you will, that we will be uh, updating our streams to where we're going to have invited guests come on and, mm -hmm. and have those interactions as well as have additional duels with other people. And we will be filming the Doge Dash shilling deal of the, the onesie and printed collateral and filming that those interactions, which should be good. But anything else that was missed there? Or what do you think, Bomb? Uh, anything I else you want to say? That's pretty much it. I mean, I, I think we kind of understood that one, this isn't, this is the foundation of Doge Dash now, I think is the key thing to get across to people. This is now the new foundation that is sustainable and will, we can now grow from here, which I think is a cool thing. And that's what makes me excited. So. Um, I know it might be disappointing for some people and a lot of gamers, but as an investor and somewhat as a gamer, once we get those first updates out and rolling, it's going to be awesome. And I think we just need to understand that we're just, we're back to a foundation status, but this is the much healthier foundation than we were at, which is awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely. Is, awesome. I would agree 100%. Well, I think we, we are good to kind of, cap the stream there um and if you guys have anything else that you want to add just feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll we'll definitely get them on the next stream or over twitter um because we love to get your guys thoughts and that's why we wanted to open up the the streams and the doge dash duels to more people so that we can have invited guests and getting more opinions and perspectives and even looping in a couple of people at a time while we're on you know certain streams or things like that so that we can get other people talking and um, I think it would be kind of neat to it's sort of combining like the Twitter spaces with a stream so you can do mm -hmm. like Doge Dash duels too, and you can have other people commenting on the duels as they're taking place. So I think a lot of yeah. cool stuff there that's, that's coming out, but let us know if you guys have anything extra, but otherwise we'll, we'll cap it there. Bomb any words of wisdom before we part? I think the biggest thing is, well, I said the foundation thing, but it's like, don't, don't lose hope in this. Like for, for those of you that are thinking, ah, oh, this is, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's a setback from where we were as a gamer. And I think it's a step forward for investors, which is cool. And so I think it's just going to, it's going to grow for us. And I think it's, it's definitely something where I'm not selling, I'm not selling my NFT, but I'm buying I should say maybe like in the buying mindset of things. So it's not, not advice, but that's what I feel right now. So I would say, keep voicing y'all's opinions and make sure that uh, if you see something that you think could be changed to better doge dash, don't not say it, but get it out there. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I think that's the, the important thing that we really wanted to, we really wanted to do is, is have a platform for people to feel like they could share those perspectives without it being just labeled FUD because you see us, we're, we're, we keep it real when we're on, we try to maintain positivity. You know, even if we, there's a lot of uncertainty, 
But at the same time, we are very transparent with, you know, what our thoughts are. And we want people to have the platform to feel like they can do the same as well and have an actual like dialogue without maybe posting mm -hmm. it in, in discord where people just like kind of attack, you know, sometimes. And I think the Doge Dash community is very good about not doing that. And I think it'd be cool right. if we had a platform where we had people having the opportunity to share things and then having the chat weigh in as well as having that like mm. round table conversation too. So I like that. Yeah. yeah. Going to be it's cool. Be We're excited for what's coming. Thank you everyone for, for hopping on the stream and we'll see you guys next time. I guess maybe we can just see if, if bomb wins on this level. What are you level nine? If? When if? we can see when, when bomb wins. I got to get top 50 probably, you know. Are you going to go for it? Do you even have no. a, a chance at, of getting there? Of course I have a chance at getting there. It's like three, two wins. Can I there. heckle you as you're trying to win? Mm, no. No? No heckles? Fortune, thanks for the fin sights. The bomb, as always. I agree with that. Uh, Pyre right, saying Ilias went six hours straight after the reset, and he already made around 420k in that time. So possibly 80%. Are you kidding me? Dude? I wasn't even heckling. That was. was so I'm bad. so sorry, Bomb. Well, we'll see you guys right. later. Have a great rest of your days, or evenings, or mornings, or whatever you're you're experiencing, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See you later.